over yet, mes amis. This is HD, the Harvest Disseminator, bringing you a review of the Hasbro. Marvel Legends, Ultimate Riders, Cosmic Ghost Rider. And without further ado, let's chop them up. And here is Cosmic Ghost Rider in the packaging. And I must say I'm very excited for this action figure. I am a huge fan of the Cosmic Ghost Rider himself. So I'm looking forward to getting him out the box. Looking at some of his comic book accuracy. Uh, we will look at a little biographical sketch of who this particular version of Ghost Rider is. Which he is phenomenal. Uh, so look at him in the box y'all. You can see his... Uh, his cosmic motorcycle here, uh, which in the packaging looks great. You can see that the handlebars are disattached. You're gonna have, we're going to have to attach the uh, the front wheel, for lack of a better word. Um, and then you have the rider himself right here. And of course, this is going to be a reuse, this whip. Uh, it's only going to be translucent. Looks like he has two guns right here with some blast effects. So, uh, you know, just in the packaging, he looks great. Here at the top, you will have a Spot Vernish logo for the Cosmic Ghost Rider. On the side, you will have this awesome, awesome artwork. And I believe you can get the same thing on both sides of the box. And we do. On the back, you're going to get a product shot. And uh, pretty much, they give away who he is. Well, we all know who he is if you're reading the comic book. Sna Supernatural Powers Transform Frank Cancel from a force of retribution into an eternal spirit of vengeance and man just the whole storyline of how uh francis castle as he's called in the comic books uh becomes the uh the cosmic ghost rider it's real cool man so uh we'll look at that here in a moment uh at the bottom y'all you will it's pretty basic you get the barcode right here at the bottom i actually picked mine up on amazon for 42 dollars um, I saw that it was popping up in certain retail stores. Man, I could not find this thing in New Orleans. I'd go even go to GameStop and ask for it. And they'd be like, yeah, we don't even have it in our system. There might just be in New Orleans things. I'm not uh, sure. Uh, but I did pick this guy up uh, on Target for $42. I'm considering getting that Squirrel Girl as, uh, as well. I'm going to give that a little time, though. Uh, knock through a couple of reviews. Then I might pick her up. Uh, but here he is, y'all. Let's get this dude out the box and let's see what he's all about. So by default, we're going to look at his accessories. I just took this right out the box. I haven't put it together yet. I'm going to do it right here on video. But this is everything in the box, all of his accessories. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is put together his cosmic motorcycle. Okay, so uh, we're going to grab this puppy right here. This uh, exhaust pipe was already on the uh, motorcycle from the packaging, so I'm assuming that it can come off as well. Uh, so we're just going to peg this one in right here on the other side, because uh, obviously it matches. And that was pretty easy, I heard a click. So now you have both of the exhaust pipes on there, uh, and that looks pretty good. Can't complain with that. Okay, so that is that. Um, of course you have the stand right here and the stand is just going to peg right into this little hole right here and I'm not sure how tight that goes in there and I don't think it needs to be that tight so now we got it here uh, standing up here go the handlebars for the motorcycle so let's just go ahead really quick and peg those in really fast and something might fall over here and if it does say la vie all right, that popped in fairly easy. And then there goes the other handlebar right here. Bam, and that popped in. So look, we almost got it completely together here, y'all. And so here you have these effects. I'm not sure if they stay in there. 
Uh, let's see what we got going on. Uh, I'm going to pull them out and see if uh, it looks like they might peg here. I'm seeing these little holes right here, these two holes right there. So I'm assuming those are going to go in right there. So let's uh, get that in right there. And sure enough, that goes in. And this one fits right here as well. And then let's get these here on the other side. As such. Put those in. Whoops, that's not on the camera. So I'm not paying attention. Alright, that snapped in. And that snapped in pretty good. So now you have this effect going. And I'm going to assume that this is going to go over this somehow. Let's see here. This definitely is going to fit in through here. How many action reviews does it take to put on some wheels? <laughs> All right. That snapped in. And uh, I'm assuming I did this wrong. In fact, I did. You have these two grooves right here. And so those two grooves probably need to touch those bars over there so that snapped out as I did that but that's alright that might snap right back into place as I stick this on right here yep there we go I needed to go right there alright making this look harder than it really is y'all Maybe I'm going to edit some of this shit out. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And then this is going to fit right over the bar like that. And it's just going to snap on, basically. Oh. That's kind of trying to get out of there right there. And that should just snap right on now. As it is. Alright, there goes this motorcycle, y'all. And, um, yeah, it looks pretty good, man. That snapped off again. So I'm getting up. Alright, I heard it click that time. But there it goes, it came off again. So maybe this is not going to be as easy as I thought it was. It's probably just me not getting it on the right way. So there it is, yo. Feels like that just wants to keep snapping off, though. I want to uh, be honest with you. So um, you might have a little trouble with it, but uh, it feels pretty secure now. There it is, y'all. There goes this coast, uh, cosmic uh, motorcycle, okay? Before we proceed looking at the uh, accessories in the action figure, let us take a deeper look at the motorcycle itself. Um, you know, this ball right here, the, the energy ball on the uh, motorcycle or cosmic cycle, however you want to call it. I got to admit, you know, Carnival just ended... I tell my daughter that Mardi Gras toys, they temporary toys. They're going to break in like two minutes, man. They're going to last one day. <laughs> and that's normally what it is. And for some reason, this ball right here, it reminds me of a Mardi Gras toy that's only going to last a couple of minutes. Because look, it just literally, it does. It pops like right off, man. You know, it doesn't take a lot. Okay. And I wish that it was just a little bit more sturdy than what it is right now. But you really just barely touch it. I guess one of the cool things is you can stick a light in there somehow. And you can make it uh, glow. Uh, but yeah, man, that's that's that, that right there. I don't know, man. It's like you go to the... Uh, growing up, you had the little quarter machine. And you got a toy and you just pop the top off. That's what that kind of feels like, you know. Uh, but nonetheless, it does look cool, man. I ain't trying to discredit it too much. It is cool. I'm just... It's a review, you know. So we want to be honest about the product okay I do like this headlight right here man that is pretty legit uh, I like this little detail right here the handlebars overall they look cool man uh, those snap on as you saw earlier that looks great this little footrest right here it's uh, pretty flexible so you can kind of move that around a little bit uh, granted you're just gonna sit uh, Francis Castle's feet right on it but if you need to like uh, you know, pose them somehow. Possibly you can move this around to get a different effect. Uh, you have this little blue ball right here on the side. Some blue details right here. The seat uh, looks cool, man. And it feels nice. Uh, does it feel different than all the plastic? Not really, but it looks like it's a little bit different, you know. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be kind of like a, uh, 
like a more shinier, this is more of a matted uh, color, this is a shinier kind of plastic uh, to make it look like it's leather. So I like that for sure. You do have the holsters right here, and here are his guns. Uh, but granted, I'm not going to put them on there with the blast effects, but yeah, man, I mean, they fit in there, as you, as you probably saw, just perfectly. Uh, so, I mean, they snap almost like right in. So that's cool for storage. Um, the only thing you're going to have to keep track of here is the fire effect for, uh, you know, for whenever you're posing them as you're shooting it. Uh, you do have this great blue, tail, blue detail here at the back. As we saw, the exhaust pipes, they do come off. Uh, that's the one that was on there in the box. They come off on both sides. Uh, so that is that. Let's go ahead and get that back in there really quick. Um, you do have this blast effect in the back. And so, like, say uh, you're using the bike and it's not moving. And there goes that uh, bubble up there. You could just pull that right off. See that? If you want to have it more of in a relaxed mode. Uh, and then this just snaps right back in. Uh, again, the blue detail on the top. You have one, two, three, four stripes back there. Uh, the detailing with the exhaust. That's cool, man. There's three pipes on either side. Uh, so that looks great. And, of course, the stand. Uh, I don't know, man. It has kind of like this, uh, I guess, just like this uh, cosmic uh, kind of look to it, which is cool. And it allows you to pivot the cycle forward, backward, side to side. And here goes this Mardi Gras ball popping off again. Let's get it back on there. And, uh, yeah, y'all, that is going to be the motorcycle. Now let us take a look at the body and head sculpt of the figure. But before we take a look at the sculpt of the body, let us take a look at who the Cosmic Ghost Rider really is. Uh, of course... Uh, the Cosmic Ghost Rider will first appear in Thanos number 13. That's the 2018 run of Thanos in the Thanos Wins story arc. And if you have not read this, I highly recommend it. It is a page turner. In fact, that whole run of Thanos is. Uh, and it's really worth your time reading. Um, of course, when we first see the Cosmic Ghost Rider, he is sent into the present by the future version of Thanos. Uh, to get the present day Thanos uh, and bring him back to the future. Uh, now, when we encounter the Cosmic Ghost Rider, he almost has like this Deadpool-like personality. He's real funny. <laughs> you know, he's real whimsical. Uh, and what's revealed is that the future Thanos, who's basically decimated <laughs> every living being in the planet, he summons the present day Thanos to uh, enter into a fight with the Silver Surfer. Uh, and so what we're going to find in Thanos number 14 is that the Cosmic Ghost Rider is in fact Frank Castle, Francis Castleone. And so uh, then we find in Thanos number 16 uh, the or origin story of, um, of the Cosmic Ghost Rider. And what we find is that uh, Frank is at battle with the rest of the uh, Marvel uh, Universe, basically, against Thanos as he comes to basically destroy all human life. He slams Hulk into a wall, into a building. And the debris is going to fall down and basically crush uh, Frank. And he dies. And, you know, <laughs> with his last dying breath, he said he'd give anything to punish that purple uh, SOB. And so, who appears? Mephisto, and of course he's going to give um, Frank the power to become the Ghost Rider, the Spirit of Vengeance. And you know, all life is is decimated by Thanos, so he roams the world for you know centuries, and it's barren. And, he, and what it's, uh, ends up happening is he loses his mind. So when we encounter the Ghost Rider and he's really insane, really has this whimsical personality, we know why. Uh, he just went insane from basically riding, that, riding his motorcycle for centuries without talking to anybody. And then who shows up? None other than Galactus. And of course, um, Ghost Rider is going to uh, start a conversation with him. And uh, Galactus himself is looking for help, right? Because Thanos basically wants to uh, kill him and he's hunting him down. So the Ghost Rider promises to help him out. And what does Galactus make him? Ghost Rider 
the Herald of Galactus. And that's where he's going to get his cosmic powers. And so they're on this uh, hunt for Thanos to uh, encounter him and try to defeat him. But we know what happens. Thanos, with very uh, <laughs> little uh, problem, knocks off Galactus. Uh, and of course, Thanos, he'd like to kill the Cosmic Ghost Rider, he just can't. And the Rider can't defeat him, so they make this deal, right? Um, so what's going to happen is he becomes the Ghost Rider, black right hand of the Mad King Thanos. And what we encounter uh, in this story arc, in fact, is that the Cosmic Ghost Rider is killed by Silver Surfer using Thor's hammer. And that's going to bring us up to speed to Thanos Annual Number 1. Again, that's 2018. Where um, basically he ends up in the uh, in Limbo, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. And he's going to offer a narrative in Limbo of uh, just the cruelty of Thanos. And of course, Odin's going to show up to save him from the astral plane. And takes him to Valhalla. Uh, you know, which basically is the, uh, the hall of, of, of the dead, uh, for those who died in combat in, uh, Norse mythology. Uh, it's like the Asgardian afterlife. And he is basically, Odin's gonna offer him a second chance. You know, this is gonna bring us into the Cosmic Ghost Rider storyline where he tries to, uh, kill baby Thanos. And, uh, it's just. <laughs> It's really crazy, man, and it's really cool, and I think that's one thing I wish we would have got with uh, the Cosmic Ghost Rider was a baby Thanos. Like we we see, uh, we saw at the reveal at the uh, the New York uh, Toy Fair that uh, the new version of the old man Logan will come with a baby Hulk. Man, I really think that would have been appropriate with this figure if we would have got a baby Thanos, since. Um, Baby Thanos plays such a big role in the title comic book of uh, the Cosmic Ghost Rider. But, you know, after this story arc, he became a, uh, you know, a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. And there's a couple of other title runs of uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. So that's a little bit about his origin, y'all. Uh, so now let us take a look at exactly uh, how this figure is going to uh, function. And let's look at his comic book accuracy, etc., etc. And looking at the comic book accuracy of the figure, let's take a look at the uh, cover of the title comic book, Cosmic Ghost Rider number one. Uh, as you can see here on the screen, man, this dude is very, very, very uh, faithful to at least the depiction on this cover. Now, you know, when you look at the um, Thanos wins arc, the costume is a little bit different, but just basing it on this cover, I mean, it's very accurate. Everything from, I mean, the circle right here on his uh, collar uh, to the little circle right there on his uh, waist, the, uh, the, the, the Punisher symbol there. Now, granted, I wrapped this, uh, you know, his chain around him, but you can't really wrap it around like you see uh, there on the cover because this is not very pliable unless you made one uh, for yourself. Uh, the blasters even, look, you can see the lines right there in the blasters you see on the cover of the book right there, man. That's faithful uh, uh, to, to the comic book portrayal. The sparkles or the little painted dots uh, throughout the, uh, you know, the arms and his uh, his torso right there and his, and his legs. Uh, that's all uh, absolutely uh, faithful uh, to the character uh, himself. Um, again, you can see the eyes right there on his chest right there for the Punisher symbol, his nose, um, everything from his shoulder pads, uh, to you got these three little cosmic, uh, rings around his wrist. Uh, so, I mean, I think Hasbro really killed it, um, you know, with the presentation of the figure. You have this little, um, for lack of a better word, uh, I guess bulb on his head to contain the fire uh, within the helmet right there. The head sculpt is, is looking good. So just looking at the comic book portrayal itself, he looks really good. Now let's break this down and look at it in a little bit more detail. I'm going to go ahead and take his, uh, his chain off. Uh, we'll take his guns out of his hands. Again, those things being very comic book accurate right there. Let's take that out, put them to the side. So with the head, y'all, uh, what you're going to be able to do 
is to take the bulb off right there, his helmet. And um, and then you have his head. So if you need to pose this guy looking to the side, you can't just do that with this on here, right? That's just going to swivel around. You have to actually take this out, move his head uh, to wherever you want him to look, and then you'd have to put his helmet back on like that, okay? Um, which is not that bad. Uh, you can take this head off, and you can take this fire piece off too. It ain't the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, there, I popped it off right there. So basically, it's just this uh, stick right here with this ball on top. And that doesn't move around very much at all. So you can't make him look up or down. Uh, but man, his articulation is so good that, that the articulation helps you out if you wanted him to look up. Okay, so I'm going to put the fire back on because I like that effect. Put his head back on there. Pop it. And looking at the head sculpt, it is like parts of it, like a translucent type of plastic right there you can see around his mouth uh, and even the back of his head right there is pretty translucent you can actually see the ball in there if you look really good uh, but the head sculpt overall man I think it came out really nice um, I'm satisfied with it I like the little fire effect that goes around uh, his head as well that looks really good so the head sculpt in my opinion is on point you have a softer plastic that can move around uh, for his shoulder pads right there and again those are very comic book uh, accurate and faithful so I like the fact that those move you have some texturing there uh, within the uh, shoulder pad right there which is nice I mean the detail throughout on this figure is just phenomenal you know everything from his chest you can see that there's a little bit of wear right there on his chest plate uh, the paint job is really legit for the eyes and everything, man. So just the sculpting work on the chest is nice. Same thing with the torso. Uh, you'll be able to open this up right here. You can see the inside uh, of the figure. But, you know, that's not that bad, man. To me, it, there's a whole lot of connectivity right there. Uh, so I'm not going to complain with that. That looks great. You have, of course, the teeth from the skull right there. Again, you have the, uh, the painted dots throughout. Uh, which are very uh, comic book accurate. Uh, you have great detail here in the arm right here. Uh, that looks good, man. Uh, you have detail here in his uh, shoulder pad. Again, you have these three cosmic rings on his wrist, uh, which is a softer plastic, uh, which I like. You can move those around. I'm sure you could take those right off if you wanted to. Um, so, yeah, that all looks good with his legs. Uh, again, you have the painted uh, dots right there. Um, you know, these are, are, are the, the legs are really nice. They came out good. Again, you have these three pins and his knee pads right there. Uh, the sculpting right here on the leg, you have this additional piece that's sculpted in right here, which looks really good. I'm trying to capture all of this in light. Um, yeah, man, his feet, his boots have these little ridges in them right here. That all looks really good, man. Even here on the bottom boot back there, that looks great. Um, this is like a little ball right here, but we'll look at that in more detail when we look at the articulation. Looking at his back, you can see that it is the Ghost Rider jacket right there. You know, and there again, you can find this wear in the back of the jacket back there, uh, which looks really good. You have this little plate right here on his back. Um, again, you have this uh, connectivity from his legs to his actual boot right there, which looks really good. Uh, Cosmo pointed out. Uh, with his feet, everything looks really good, man. One other thing I wanted to point out that I really appreciate is they, the ridges that you see in his arm, they do continue into uh, the hinge right there. I'm trying to get my my light shined on that really good, so really appreciate that, man. That shows definitely some attention to detail on Hasbro's part. Um, so overall, the sculpt, in my opinion, is one hundred and ten percent comic book accuracy on fleek. And so I am very happy with how this came out. Now let us take a look at the Cosmic Ghost Rider's articulation. As I pointed out, to turn his head, you will have to take this globe off of his head or helmet or whatever you want to call this thing right here, capsule. Uh, you will have to take that off. You can only, you know, get a swivel with his head. That's it. You can't make him look up or down very much. Maybe I moved his head a little bit. It's all right. I got it to move a little bit, y'all. But of course, it's going to come up off of the hinge a little bit. Uh, but you can get it to move a tad bit, okay? And of course, you can get the swivel. When you get it into place, you got to put this little helmet back on. 
Uh, so that's that. The great thing with the arms is that this is a soft plastic. So you can get a 360 with this guy, man. Uh, with his arms relatively easily. Uh, his arms go way up as well, which that's really nice. Uh, you do have an upper bicep swivel. You do have double jointed elbows, which are phenomenal. You do have a waist swivel, and both of his hands will have a hinge. Uh, there is no waist swivel with this guy. Uh, which I, I think it would have been hard to have implemented being that you have these stripes going on right here. But you do have this torso swivel. And man, this thing can swivel all the way around. Uh, it goes side to side really well. You can see that. He goes way back. And he can bend way forward as well. So I like how it came out, man. It's just very fluid. It, it, it just It's just very uh, pliable. And you could articulate this guy pretty well with that, okay? With his legs, you can get a pretty far wide split. Of course, you're going to have this upper thigh swivel where his uh, his boot starts. You have double jointed knees uh, going on. Uh, so that's how high you can get that. With his uh, feet, you know, they do swivel. There's a ball down here that swivels, as you can see. Uh... Of course, you're going to have the ankle pivot going on as well. You can get his feet to go that high. You can get him to go that low, which is pretty impressive because normally uh, when there's this little, uh, uh, I guess, pant piece down here or the boot, normally it stops right there, the articulation, but look, it can go further up. So that was very thoughtful on, uh, on Hasbro's part is that you can still articulate these feet really well, even though you have those boots going on right there. So, uh, honestly, I really do like the articulation on this figure. Uh, I don't see how you can make that head articulation any better than what it is right now. So overall, I would say for my, you know, part, uh, I'm very satisfied with the figure. It's not all like, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, uh, tight and sticky, I mean, the articulation is just real loose, man, and, and it's just real fluid, and it flows really nice. So I really like how this action figure came out, and I think Hasbro absolutely killed it. And this is how the rider is going to look on his bike. So he just fits on there really good, y'all. Relative ease to get him on there with the loose articulation. I say loose, but it's tight, man. It's just perfect, man. Uh, the articulation and how you're able to move his legs and his arms and everything. The joints uh, work really well. But that's how he's going to look on his bike, y'all. Uh, he looks absolutely phenomenal. And again, uh, with the stand and the way that these stands are made, you can make this guy lean to the side like that, man. You know, which looks real nice. Uh, to the other side, you can bring, bring him forward like this. So that the ball is touching the ground, you can pop him up like that. So, uh, man, it's just very fluid, and uh, it all works really well. And, of course, if you wanted to, like, take his hand off of his uh, handlebar, you could do that. And uh, perhaps you wanted to put his whip in his hand like this. Uh, look, man, you could, you could do that, all right? So that all looks really nice, just like it is. So that's how it looks on his motorcycle. Uh, let us make a quick comparison. Here's the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Next to the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider uh, with his motorcycle. So, um, I mean, I'm kind of comparing uh, two different uh, motorcycles here, you know. But uh, they're, both go they're both Ghost Riders. Mephisto created. Except this guy, of course, has uh, powers from uh, Galactus. But here we go, man. Uh, you know, they look really nice next to each other. I'll probably put them on my shelf next to each other like this. Uh, maybe even... <laughs> Having the whips in their hands when they're not using them just like they are. But, you know, I, I really like this Ghost Rider right here, man. The Johnny Blaze. That piece comes off right there, as you probably already know. Uh, I really like this Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider, man. I had him kind of like uh, use those almost like a statue in my living room for a while. Uh, but, of course, I put them here in my studio on my shelf. Uh, so, both of these Ghost Riders look really well. And that's how they're going to look next to each other. And the Cosmic Ghost Rider is going to stand in uh, just a tad bit over six inches, not quite six and a half.
And here he is scaled next to Thanos and Silver Surfer. Of course, uh, we don't have a version of the uh, older Thanos within the Thanos win story arc. But of course, we have a figure of the current day Thanos. And to my knowledge, I believe it was Silver Surfer Black that killed uh, <laughs> the Cosmic Ghost Rider, I could be wrong about that, but nonetheless, here is the uh, Ghost Rider that we have from Hasbro Marvel Legends, that's the Walgreens exclusive. And here is the Cosmic Ghost Rider scale next to the two most recent versions of the Punisher that we got in Frank Castle. We have the uh, Punisher War Machine, and of course we got the Battle-Faced uh, Punisher over here. And of course, this is how the Frank Castle head sculpt is going to look on this particular body sculpt of the War Machine. And this is how the head sculpt will look on the Cosmic Ghost Rider, which, in my opinion, it is not the most convincing. Now, there are times uh, where the Cosmic Ghost Rider does have a human-formed head. Granted, in most of those depictions, he does have gray hair, but... I thought I'd just play around with this. Tell me what y'all think in the comments below about this particular head sculpt. I'm not 100% sure it works, but if you are doing some uh, storyboards with photography, maybe you could get away with this head sculpt. And here he is scaled next to the more traditional Punisher and the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider. I believe that this guy was a Walgreens exclusive. I think I can't quite remember. At least that's where I bought my version of this Frank Cancel, and of course this is the uh, Ghost Rider that came along with the motorcycle. And if you wanted to produce uh, a Frank Cancel Ghost Rider, of course because Mephisto turned Frank, Frank Cancel into the Ghost Rider, I think this is the closest uh, thing you'll be able to get via action figure photography, and I'm rusting that head on the ball joint because it doesn't fit as you can see of course Frank Cancel's head does not fit on Johnny Blaze's body at all uh, so I mean this looks all right and perhaps you can get away with it if you wanted to capture the Frank Castle Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance and in conclusion I have to say that I really 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 like this action figure my only complaint about it, really, I only have one complaint, y'all. That's going to be this ball up front. You barely touch it and the uh, cover pops off. Outside of that, I really like the action figure. I highly recommend it. That might be a little bit biased because I do love the Cosmic Ghost Rider. I love the storyline. I like his personality, etc. Uh, but overall, the figure itself... The joints are, are, they're not, I don't want to say that they're loose because they're tight, but they just have a really good flow to them. Uh, so I really appreciate the articulation on the figure. Uh, I like the comic book accuracy of the figure and the motorcycle. And so all I could do is really, uh, you know, give this uh, figure uh, two thumbs way, way up. Uh, he's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, so with that said, y'all, thanks again for tuning in to the Harvest Disseminator for checking out my review. And, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, y'all, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give the video a like. Hit the notification bell. And until next time, which I'm coming back real soon because we're under this little quarantine, I'm going to be popping out all kind of videos. So stay tuned, y'all. Uh, I'll be back at y'all soon. And as we say here in New Orleans, laissez les bon temps rouler, mon ami. Thank you.